Hi everyone, it's Shay. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I just have a quick video for you guys. I just wanted to show you how to use Lightroom presets and show you how my personal Lightroom presets that I created look on different photos. So if you're interested in purchasing my Lightroom presets or you have some and you don't really know how to use them, this video will walk you through how to put those presets on your photos for Instagram. Also, if you don't know what a Lightroom preset is, just basically think of it as like a filter that you can put on your photos to make sure that all your photos look pretty much the same. So that's how people achieve really nice cohesive feeds for their Instagram and a lot of influencers and brands really want that kind of style. So it's best to purchase a preset so that way you're guaranteed that all of your photos will look somewhat similar with the same types of colors saturation, all that kind of stuff. So as of right now, I have two presets available on my site. I will link those down below and I'll put them up here on the screen. They are only $3 and you get five presets in the pack. So normally when you buy a preset, you usually get a few different presets in the pack because some of your photos will vary in contrast, exposure, saturation, all that kind of stuff. So you need a few different options to work on different photos. So that's why I have five in there. So that way, if you have a brighter photo, there's a preset that works better for those versus a darker photo, there's a preset that works better for that. So you can go ahead and check them out. I just made them $3 because they're pretty easy to make for me and I wanted them to be affordable for everyone. So make sure you check those out below and then in the video, I'll be showing you what they look like um, so you can see it in real time, like how it actually looks. So when you buy your presets from my website or any, you should be able to download them right away and they'll be in a file format that's known as DNG. That's just the way that a Lightroom preset saves as a file so that way you can download it and use the preset. Um, when you download it, you can download it to your phone and you can save it in files or images. And don't worry because it probably, when you click on it, it won't look like there's anything there. So it might look empty, but it's just because the f I think your phone doesn't really know how to show like a DNG file. So don't think that like the file is empty. That's just normally how it shows up. Once you have the presets and when you buy my presets, it comes with a whole instruction guide. So don't worry, this is all like written out, you will want to open up Lightroom and Lightroom is a free app and you'll open it up and you're going to import all of your DNG files. So as you can see here, I have my five DNG files from my Caramel Lux preset and they're all the same photo, but you can see that some of them look a little bit different. So that's because these are all the five different presets on the same photo. So what you want to do is when you have all these imported, you click on the photo and then you press these three little dots at the top right and then you'll hit create preset then you can title them and i would name them like whatever the name of the preset is so um caramel lux or just like maybe lux one and then save them i already have the save so i'm not going to save it i wouldn't touch any of the other stuff like just leave it how it is you can choose a different group so i have tropical vintage the like nude brown one that i use bright whites all that kind of stuff, or you can create a new group. And that way you can just save it and it'll be organized how you want it to be. So then once you do that for all of those, you can go back to your photos and bring in a photo to try with the preset. So you can click on this little button down in the bottom right and then insert from camera roll. This one is just exactly how it looks when I shot it. Um, it was just like morning light, nothing fancy, no filters on it yet. Then what you want to do is click on this little presets button and so here i have like a bunch of these nude ones that i use for my instagram but let me show you the caramel lux the ones that are my presets so you'll see that they'll pop up and like i said there's five and sometimes they take a second to load but then you can just kind of click on them and go down the line and see which one you like best so see how they're all different levels of brightness, saturation, this one has lower highlights, this one's a little bit more bluer, this one is much darker and makes me look a lot more tan, um, this one is darker, and this one's pretty bright. And I like this one, I think this one looks good on this photo. So depending on your photo and the lighting, you know you might want a darker one or a lighter one. Let's say you like this, but I think I look a little bit too tan. 
what you can do is even though you have a preset, you can still make some changes to the sliders in the app. So what I'd wanna do is adjust some of the other sliders and you can definitely do that with a preset on. It's not like everything's locked in place. So normally what I would do is I really like the color sliders. So if you just click on this little color wheel next to the word mix and you have so much control over the different colors. So for this, it's usually like the orange is the luminance is too dark. So what you would do is just kind of bring it up, see how different that looks. So if you bring up the luminance, then it looks a little bit more like, you know, my actual skin tone because I'm not that tan. <laughs> or I can also bring down the saturation. So you can just kind of play around with it and see what look you like best. Maybe make it look a little bit more realistic. So then when you're done, you just hit this check to save. So this is again just the picture straight how I took it in the morning light, nothing super special. If I want to put my presets on it, I'll put the Caramel Lux one on it again. And you can see that how much like brighter and more saturated the browns are. And then you can go through and see which one you like best. And yeah. And then just kind of play around with that and see which one kind of fits your theme better. This preset works best on photos that are predominantly brown and white, like very earthy tones, because that's how I designed this preset is to really like bring out the white and really deepen the rich brown tones. So, you know, maybe this preset won't work perfectly on a photo um, in the forest or something because I definitely have the greens muted as well. So, you know, this is probably better for someone who does want to look that um, is like my sample pictures which I'll put right here. So anything that does have like very neutral tones, whites, browns, blacks, maybe even some grays, that kind of stuff, if you want like very earthy tones, then this preset will look really good on those. And in the future, I definitely want to come up with a bunch of different presets and I'm working on some right now for all different types of photos. So let me know if there's like a specific type you'd love to see, but just keep checking my store regularly. And maybe by the time you're watching this, if you go to my store down below, I might have some more more available and also feel free to reach out to me either DM me through Instagram or check my email down below if you have any questions about downloading your presets or if anything isn't working or you're confused about something make sure to check out my Instagram page I do use a preset to make sure that my photos look somewhat cohesive I know some of them always aren't but I'm still working on developing my brand and color scheme and all that kind of fun stuff thank you so much for watching my videos make sure to give this a like if you found it helpful subscribe and and check out my presets down below. Bye!